Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Please comment, share, like, subscribe if any of this is resonating for you. Love all of you so much. Thank you for all of your support and kindness. Um, I really appreciate it. I have a lot of praise reports for y'all today. Well, two I'm going to share. Or maybe three. I don't know. But just how the Lord is working and continues to work through us, it's just incredible. Yeah, so first praise report, um, I went to a Bible study this week and I looked over in a mirror and, and this was at the church and I looked over at the mirror and it said the word treasured over it. So, it was so beautiful. And I just love that. So anyways, leading up to that, the next morning I get a text from one of my, one of my friends and I'm about to go visit them and their school. And the flight that I was going to take, when I land, I'm going to miss, I was going to miss their play, the school play, but <laughs> they said they were going to move it to the next day so that I could see the play, which is so amazing. Like, all glory to God on that. I'm like, why do you guys, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, very dear friends in the Lord, and um, I just feel so, um, sorry, I dropped my pen. <laughs> I just feel so humbled, really, to see um, just God's grace in those situations, because I was praying. I wanted, I really, that was like a desire of my heart to go see them and see that play, so he just, he works all things. Um, when we step out in faith and we do those little things, they add up to big things. So, and also on the, uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Countering that whenever, you know, we continue to backslide, I want to say it's those little things that add up to big things and, um, we really need to be guarding our hearts and our minds and our eyes. You know, if, if we're taking in trash, guess what we're going to get? <laughs> so yeah, I really am praying for y'all. I feel like some of y'all are really going through it right now, but do not lose heart. Take courage in, um, what the Lord is doing and just putting those prayer petitions at his feet. And we just need to be constantly in prayer, guys. I know it is, you know, every day is a battle. So yeah, um, I re really appreciate y'all's prayers. So yeah, the second praise report was, it, this is so amazing. So I was talking to a brother and he was talking about how he was getting the word thirst a lot. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And he read a passage, I can't remember where it's from, but he read a passage in scripture about, you know, where, thir um, where he was getting that word. And then I thought of, as a deer pants for water, so my soul thirsts for you. I think that <laughs> I might be paraphrasing, sorry, but that's, that's what I thought of. But this is so nuts. So after I got off the phone with that brother, I kept on getting the number 63. And my mind just jumped to, okay, I need to read Psalm 63. So I'm going to read that for y'all right now. And then I have another praise report after that. So Psalm 63 says, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary. I see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. I will lift up my hands in your name. 
My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. Beautiful. So beautiful. Um, right there. How God continues to confirm himself in his word. And um, I just think about all of these things um, on earth passing away. But his words will remain. So, so beautiful. <laughs> I love it, man. Like, it's so cool to just have a relationship with the Lord. Um, if you're just watching this for the first time, I encourage you to get into God's word. Um, doesn't matter <laughs> where you start, but I, I would encourage you to start in John and just work from there. I know, um, also, we need to be in community if you are a believer, or if not, just getting plugged into a local church. Um, I recommend ninemarks.org. That's a good starting point, and looking at the mission statements, but then also actually going to the church and saying what they're about. But it is important that we are preserving God's word and, um, you know, his gospel and not adding to, not taking from but preaching Christ and him crucified, it is very, very, very important. And I don't know what this channel is all about, honestly. Uh, partial obedience. <laughs> I mean, it is full obedience, but I really, I have no idea what God is going to do with this. So I really hope that it blesses someone in some way, somehow. <laughs> but this is just my, my testimony of, um, the Lord finding me and saving me from hell, literally. Um, yeah, it's a very harrowing uh, journey. I had no idea what I needed to be saved from. Um, I had no idea that the devil is real. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just very, very humbling and... Um, I do take this seriously. I really do. So, yeah, we, we need to be in prayer for one another because, yeah, <laughs> it's just very important. But also, we have the victory in Christ if we belong to him. And it's our responsibility to go out and preach the word um, with all gentleness and meekness and not just throwing the book at people, but actually walking with them through stuff um, wherever you're at. I just, I feel like there's more, um, more people who are not in the Lord yet who are watching this channel. And if you are watching this, he is calling you. <laughs> he really is. Um, yeah, I have no doubts about that one. I don't know if that's resonating for anyone, but I do know he is calling you. Um, yeah. So anyways, I, um, have one more praise report and this is from oh yo and also <laughs> psalm 63 i kept on getting the word um before i took uh blah 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 i talked to that brother i kept on getting the word kindness and loving kindness is in that passage as well so beautiful um but yeah okay so last testimony this is from earlier today. So I had a brother call me and he was really upset and crying and um, immediately like, I don't know, I just just sense, sense like an attack from the enemy. And this is, you know, all glory to God, discernment of the Holy Spirit. But I was like, yo man, like I need to pray for you right now. <laughs> and so, I mean, of course he was like, yes. So I started praying over him, dude. 
and he legitimate like he started choking and like throwing up like it was like legit deliverance from whatever that was I kept on getting the word fear but I don't know what that was but he straight up he was like I feel like that was like I got delivered for some, from something, bro. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Um, so, you know, just obedience and the Holy Spirit working through us. Yeah, but it was like really heavy. And then, oh, dude. So right before this brother called me too, I got a splitting headache. Like out of nowhere. And I was like, what is going on? Um, and I kind of just attributed attributed it to um just like weather change and like I don't know I don't know <laughs> I was trying to make sense of it but then it made sense like after um that it was definitely something there was something there so praise God for what he did in that um in that brother's life but yeah we we really do need to be in prayer for one another and I was reading a book about you know our finitude as humans and you know God is infinite but we have a tendency to think that we are self-made and we can do it on our own and the Lord you know we are created um, with those limitations so that we can help one another out in the body of Christ because we can't be Jesus <laughs> you know that's why we're called the body of Christ because we are you know one body with many parts, um, many different gifts, and we do need to be using those gifts, but we also, yeah, we need to be using those gifts, and to do that, we need to be open, um, we need to be open vessels, and just continue to surrender to him. I know it's kind of hard, you get caught up, I'm speaking for myself, I get caught up in the daily grind, and it's like work, work, work. And then all of a sudden, um, something will come over me and be like, hey, you need to pray now. Or you need to go over and talk to that um, sister or brother. And it's like, or call or text or, you know, whatever it is. And yeah, the Lord just moves. <laughs> and he moves with power. Um, yeah. Like I've been saying, guys, it's super important. And I'm nobody. I am nobody, um, but it is important that we do have the Holy Spirit during these times. It's going to get, it's going to get gnarly. It really is. Um, yeah, we need to be in prayer. Yeah, because this is warfare, man. <laughs> it's really heavy sometimes, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just have this, um, I have this feeling it's just going to be a new chapter pretty soon. So I'm excited about that. I don't know what that means. But um, I'm really grateful to be in this season and this time. And yeah, God is just, he's moving. He is moving with a purpose right now. <laughs> it's so cool. But yeah, please comment, share, like, subscribe again. Um, love y'all so much and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.